And of course, it wouldn't have been a convention without getting some swag. So this is the collected edition. This is the collected uh, third Doctor comic series that was put out by Titan Comics. They do. They're currently doing the. They have the current license to Doctor Who, and they've been they've been doing these different series. And this is the third Doctor collected series, Heralds of Destruction. Paul Cornell, Christopher Jones, and Hi Fi. And Christopher Jones, he was actually there. I actually got this, bought this at his table, and he signed it for me. Now, Christopher Jones, he is the fellow that's been, that did the artwork for the Sven Meets the DC Universe series that's been running in the various DC comics and I I have been getting those there was only like four parts they're all scattered in various issues I will be doing a video on those soon I hope Mo time and motivation permitting this is his third doctor series there's there's Joe, there's the Brigadier, and there's the Doctor, of course. And he does good artwork. And I look forward to putting this in my queue. And yes, there's a little surprise special guest surprise the second doctor only he he has a little surprise of his own as I found out I haven't read the whole thing I did skim through it so I do know what the surprise is what his surprise is I'm not gonna spoil it if you wanna read it but uh, yeah he said he told me he's uh, He's going to be moving out to California, about to LA. To he's going to be working on the new Injustice cartoon series that's coming out. And I said, "Well, will you you'll be coming. You'll come back to Chicago, won't you?" And he said he would if he could, if he was able to. He doesn't know what his schedule is going to be like. But I wouldn't mind seeing him again. He's a good artist. He really and truly is, and I, I wish him well. I hope things work out for him on the new Injustice cartoon. And these, you always have people with their selling their random themed jewelry. But these guys are as Mindy jewelers. You, you could just just look at that. I mean, this is stuff. Geeky jewelry made by a geek. We make jewelry inspired by the pop culture in a subtle way that gracefully embraces our inner geek while staying fashionable. Look at... This was definitely... They de they have some definitely high quality stuff. I mean, they had an actual jewelry case that they were selling their... that they were displaying their stuff in. This is something... You could actually... You, you might actually expect to find these in a jewelry store somewhere. It all started when Bored Gino was watching some British science fiction programming and designed a ring inspired by the police box for fun. After the initial renders for the police box ring was posted to Tumblr, the post took off and people started asking for their own ring. At this point, we didn't even have a website yet. We've come a long way. We have a website and Etsy and now and are now going to conventions. Take a look at that. That's the that's the original police box ring and that's the grand police box ring and there's a starter trainers ring for all you Pokemon fans out there and there's the master trainers ring 
and it's Bango Cat. So adorable. I have Bongo Cat. I'm sorry. I have. I'm sorry. I have no idea what that is, unless it's that. I don't think it's that one cat that the that's sitting at the dinner table that the lady's screaming at. I'm sorry, I'm not up on all my... I really and truly am not up on all my memes and whatnot. But... Carlos and Gino. We are a third generation family jewelry business. We do not believe that geeks should have to settle for painted, plastic, or poorly made costume jewelry. Well, not all of it's poorly made. It is some of it. Painted and plastic, yes. Poorly made. Some, some of it is. Some of it isn't. All of our jewelry is made in Chicago, Illinois, and has been shipped out to six of the seven continents. We offer jewelry in sterling silver, gold, and soon in DeLorean stainless steel. And that's their address right there and their website. So they definitely are, if you're looking for something truly high quality, these are the guys to go to. World famous Doctor Who store, the Who shop and TV and film museum. The Who shop. World's first and only Doctor Who shop. Well, I don't know if it's the it's not the only Doctor Who shop. There is Alien Entertainment. Oh, they're based out of London. Okay. Well, I guess they have uh, the original costumes and 120 different props and costumes from the world of TV and film dating back to 1963 so yeah these guys are out of right out of England there's the Van Gogh costume from Vincent and the doctor they had a table there I did even if I don't buy anything from someone I'll still take their their flyer or business card or whatever it's just my way of saying you know I've seen you and I'm not going to forget you this fellow I definitely did not forget him because I did I actually did buy a package of da a jammy Dodgers from him they the first thing I, w I did when I got in after I got checked in I had this little taste testing party in one of the smaller rooms it was all British desserts and sweets they had jammy dodgers they had jelly babies and we had uh, black british tea and they had licorice all sorts and they had it's called it's a pudding with little raisins in it it's called spotted dick they ended me mine and I'm, I'm like what is this thing called again and the whole room burst out laughing it's called spotted dick it's like a pudding it's like a cake pudding thing with, uh, this one had raisins in it. Sometimes it has different types of fruits in it. But it was good. I, I really and truly enjoyed it. And we had mincemeat pie also. But this one fellow, he was at a, he had his own table up there. And I snatched up, there was like three remaining, he had three remaining packages of jammy dodgers. And... I snatched up one of the last ones they had. Best ever recipe. I had never had jammy dodgers before until that day. I was always more about the jelly babies, but I couldn't find any jammy dodgers anywhere. I was found I always found the jelly babies. They always had jelly babies, but never jammy dodgers. So this was on one of the tables. It's a flyer for Doctor Who, the classic series, regenerated. A new fan film production based on the original BBC series coming soon. Check out our Facebook page. So I guess that's a 
It's a fan film tribute to the Fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane. I'll have to check them out. Here's something that I snatched up. Fanthropy Running Clubs. They have different running clubs based on whatever fandom you subscribe to. I guess that's sort of a catch-all club. Changing the world one mile at a time. I always get two because I like to tape them into my journal and if there's something on the back I'll get a second one. Philanthropy, where fandom and philanthropy come together. The Philanthropy Running Clubs are communities based on fandoms who participate in organized virtual running events. Yeah. To inspire people to be more physically active and support nonprofits focused on a variety of charitable efforts. So, what is a virtual run? The basics of a virtual run. A virtual run is an activity you do how, where, and when you choose. Think of it as your race, your pace, your place. Okay. You can run, you can walk, job, job, <laughs> a job, walk, job, run, dance, swim, any physical movement you choose to do, wherever you are, that's where it happens, any day, any time, in one session or multiple, it's up to you. Random. Harnessing the power of phantom. That's them. There's their Potterhead Running Club. There's their Hoovian Running Club. The... Chilton Running Club, and it's the fandom. It's sort of all-encompassing there. And here, the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Doctor Who Collectors Podcast dot com. You can get them on iTunes. They're on Facebook and Twitter. And here's the Doctor Who Target Book Club Podcast. I've got. Uh, I collected quite a few of the Target books. I got all the Pinnacle books and then I moved on to the Target books. So there's their website. I'm sure you could Google them. You'd be able to find them somewhere. And of course, you could never have too many stickers. I got these at one dealer's table. Same software, different case. And of course, another TARDIS sticker. You can never have too many stickers, and you definitely can't have too many TARDIS stickers. And there's our Mendy Jewelers again. Follow us on social media at Art Gems Jewelers on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Join our mailing list for discounts and updates. See our Etsy shop at arismondijewelersetsy.com. Secrets. Oh, this guy. Yeah, he was an he's an artist, and he had the um, the books that he did the covers for at his table. Unfortunately, my reading queue is a little packed at the moment, but I, like I said, this is my way, I, I get the cards, they're business cards, this is my way of saying I'm not ignoring you, I will remember you. And there have been times when I've remembered people that I've gotten the cards from, and I've, I've seen them again at... Uh, a future convention I remember them and I, I would get their book or comic or whatever they were selling fine artist and craftswoman I'm sorry Felix Eddie fine art crafts okay original artwork prints illustrations custom embroidery there's her information her Etsy shop is called the the clockwork sphinx Doctor is in the Chronicles of Who, Third Friday, seven to ten p.m. Colonial Cafe, West Galena Bard Boulevard, Aurora, Illinois. And 
that's all their their meeting dates for 2020 and here's the the pressies under glass they're the pressy people that I got the little uh, ribbon from custom designed silver solder soldered jewelry by Sue and Sam and that's their website right there and their number custom pendants ornaments and bookmarks made using your own images or artwork or use one of our images made in the Tiffany style of using copper and lead free silver solder custom bookmarks that'd be neat I'm always I'm always on the lookout for interesting bookmarks I guess maybe they'd be sort of like those uh, metal bookmarks that I got of the 11th Doctor and the 10th and Black Widow I got at a previous convention I'll have to check them out I also got Doom Coalition Volume 1 the uh, audio CD box set from Big Finish well it's from Big Finish but I got it through uh, Alien Entertainment I always they're the they're like the main suppliers of uh, Big Finish dramas this is one I got the first one as part of a free download and so I decided to go ahead and get the rest uh, the 11 the first one when one of Gallifrey's most notorious criminals attempts to escape from prison, Cardinal Padrack turns for help to the Time Lord who put him there in the first place. Hmm. Uh, I wonder who that could be. And then there's the Red Lady. A London museum holds the key to many secrets from the past, but some secrets are so deadly they should remain locked away forever. And the Galileo trap. With a mysterious plague sleep, sweeping through Florence, a rampaging alien behemoth comes between the doctor and the answers he seeks. And then finally the satanic mill. Long buried animosities come boiling to the surface on an ancient and powerful satellite in a final confrontation that could have unimaginable consequences. So I'm I'm not quite finished with the War Doctor series just yet. But as soon as I'm done with those, these I'll be I'll be listening to I'll be listening to this right afterwards. That's their that's their website right there. Big finish. We love stories and we love listening to them. The folks from uh, 42 Nerdtastic Place were there. They specialize, they have like different fan themed scented uh, candles and body oils and body sprays and body mist and room spray. This one is Timey Wimey. It's kind of interesting. It's got uh, apple rose lily jasmine musk i got it and I, I had to ask the i went back and i asked the the lady there she, i said is this is this a guy scent or a girl scent and she says either or depends on your body chemistry it seems to be okay i can smell the apple i'm not i can't quite smell the rose the lily or the jasmine but it's I'll give it a shot and also I got another bottle of uh, get this man a shield amber bay musk this is a good one I like this scent it's nice and I was there and also uh, the schoonmaker studio was there too they make the these little pins and uh, picture postcards and other 
artwork and jewelry and this is their Dalek pin that I got and uh, for freebie as a freebie they gave me this uh, postcard with a picture of the 13th doctor on it that's their logo right there Schoonmaker Studios I do wish things were better I really and truly do.